How's it going everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, we're talking about T-Test testosterone. Do both men have higher levels of testosterone? Also, I will be discovering with you for the first time my own testosterone levels. So testosterone and balding, this is a popular discussion. Do bold men have higher levels of testosterone? Unfortunately, it's not as simple as that and it isn't true. The main reason why men experience hair loss is the DHT, which is a hormone derived from testosterone. You can have relatively low levels of testosterone, low levels of DHT and still experience male pattern baldness. So where did this whole thing come from? Well, let's be honest, guys. Maybe we want to feel Ugh, we want to feel manly, we want to say, yeah, my hair's falling out and I'm strong and big and masculine because of my high testosterone levels. Now, the link between testosterone and going bald seems to have come from early on. People noticed that boys that had been castrated who had no testosterone didn't go bald. The association was then connected, losing your hair, testosterone. Now, later on, this developed into bald men, high levels of testosterone being more virile. Ugh. If bald men have these high testosterone levels and high testosterone results in a higher sex drive, then the story is born that bald men are also more virile. But unfortunately, guys, it isn't true. And there haven't been any studies that conclude that bald men display higher levels of testosterone. Now that we got that out of the way, guys, let's move on to my own personal testosterone levels, okay? If we're going on that myth, we could say, whoa, whoa. You're looking pretty bold there, Harry, at 29 years old. As we move past 25 into our 30s, our testosterone levels naturally will begin to slowly decline. And that got me thinking, well, if I haven't got high testosterone levels, do I have low testosterone levels? Recently, I made another video talking about my own fitness journey. And there was a really interesting comment on there. The article, Why You Shouldn't Do Starting Strength as a Beginner, sums up a lot of problems with smaller frame people focusing on big lifts and trying to get a good physique. I would consider myself a smaller frame person. You can see there my little tiny wrists, quite a small bone structure. And those were things that I mentioned in this video. I had a hard time packing on muscles, although I did get some deep decent results at one point, it always seemed much more difficult for me despite my consistent diet, my consistent training to put on a decent amount of muscle. And I went over to this guy on his article and he started talking about his body weight training and his testosterone levels. He said he too had low testosterone. This guy goes on to detail some of the things he was associating with his physique or lack thereof and low testosterone. Have you got a hard time gaining strength, putting on muscle mass, particularly over the upper body? Maybe if you've got those puffy nips, those love handles, a lot of excess fat storage around your midsection. And I was like, um, that pretty much describes me what's going on right here. So I thought, right, here we go. I've got to test my T levels, my testosterone levels. What is my situation? This is the first time I'm doing this, guys. And, um, you know, I did it early in the morning. Watch the test, okay, and when you come back, we're gonna be revealing those results. Oh, it's too tight, mate. It's tight as a badger's. Here we are, right, so it is really nice and early in the morning, it's 5 a.m. You can see it there, right? Uh, I've got work in a bit, <clears throat> so crack a door. Not, I don't know if it's a good time to do this or not, but here we are. We've got our delivery, and this is our testosterone test from Let's Get Checked. So I'm pretty sure I know what to do with this thing. I've got to fill out this card. I've got to register it. I've got about 10 minutes to do all of that. We're going to take the blood sample, put it in the post box, and then we should get our test results back. Okay, that's all we need to do for that one. So we need to get on the app. Good morning, it says. Good morning. Activate my health test. See how the hair's still going? We're still growing it. I'm male. I am 183 centimeters, about 182 pounds at the moment. Warning, time selected is not recommended. What is bloody Tuesday morning, mate? Wash hands, finger prick, bloody get it in there. Right, that's enough of that. Come on, let's go. Right, we've done this. Cool little little thing. You get a little card, you've got to keep that on you. And in there is your little vial. So you're supposed to wash your hands, right? But return envelope, bio bag. 
Oh my god, I'm in a rush now, and I hate that. Right, get me instructions up. To so like your finger, you're gonna prick. The fourth finger is advised. It says you got it's a good idea to stand up, but I'm not gonna be able to stand up. Give it a wipe. Oh, they give you a little plaster as well, that's cute. Get that bad boy out. Give it a little swabby swab. I'm just gonna pop the tube in the bottom there. This is like when I used to work in that lab, to be honest. Right, I'm gonna prick the finger, and then you wipe the first drop of blood off. You just keep squeezing it in there until what? Until you, it's full, right, come on. It does bloody hurt. There's a little, oh, I'm hardly bleeding. Okay, seriously, I'm, this is, I'm gonna have to get out of the car, squeeze it in. Because it's not, I'm just not bleeding enough at all here. Oh, this is silly. I've got nothing but a bloody finger there. So I'm gonna have to do another one. Maybe I'm not active enough. Blood pumping. The thing is, I don't want to lose any. And now that finger's bloody bleeding. Like, look at that. Come on. We've got the technique now. The two finger action. Okay, now the blood's flowing. Oh, okay. You just sort of scoop it in there, like on the side of your finger. We're getting somewhere now. Leaking all over the place. Halfway there. Come on. We're up to 400 almost, and I've really got to get going for work. Come on. Keep going, keep going. This is a lot harder than I thought, but once you get the hang of it, it's alright. Nah, I need 200 more though, come on. It. I'm going to have to go for another one. These fingers just taking too long. I don't know if I'm going to regret this or not. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for a third. Here we go. It's, it is uncomfortable, to be honest, this bit. Eee! Wipe. Come on. Yeah, man. It says you have to fill it up to that top line, so I've only got six minutes to get to work. We're so close. I should have kept the car running really. Maybe it's probably a lot easier if it's warmer. It's not very warm. Well, you're literally almost there. Just a few more drops. We're there. This middle finger's been the by far the most productive. Come on, come on, just a little bit more. Okay, that absolutely has to be it. Oh my goodness me. But we've got our Sample, right, collected the sample, yep, 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 seal the sample. Once you finish collecting the sample, place the lid on the sample. Tube, press down firm to here, click, mix the sample. Right, here we go. This is like what we used to do back in the old lab. I don't know if you're supposed to shake it or what, I don't think so. Fuck it, shake it. Right, biohazard bag. How the hell does this biohazard, biohazard bag open? Like that. Like that, I guess. Right, seal that. Blood all over it, but whatever. Bio bag. Goes in your box. I think I've done it right. Blood all over the box. Anyway, it goes back in there. There we go. That is going in the post box. Oh, I think that's me done. And I've got to go to work.
That took way too long. Another reason why I think, you know what, I could actually have really bad, uh, you know, low testosterone levels is, you know, my mood. I think that is down to tiredness, but also my lack of sleep. Over the last six months, I've been working hard in a new job. For that job, I have to get up before 5 a.m. My sleep is shocking. You can see a few screenshots here of my sleep cycle. Um, it's not good. You know, I don't sleep well. My diet has been better recently since I've been doing this body weight training. Trying to get things into gear, guys. I'm about to turn 30 and I want the next 10 years of my life to honestly be the most healthy I've ever been. And I'm kind of nervous, quite honestly. I'm nervous to, to kind of see these results. Anyway, I did the test early in the morning, as you saw there. That's been shown to be a pretty good time to do it. Let's just let's just check this out, right? Let's get checked. Results available. Testosterone levels, what should they actually be? What are normal levels? It says here, look, for a male, between 300 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter is considered normal, or 10.41 to 34.70 nanomoles per liter. Let's, like, I'm, okay, let's just go for it. I'm really intrigued to see, what, see what's, what's on here. Okay, we are normal. Okay, we are normal. That's good. One by my normal. I'm 19.4. Okay, I'm 19.4. I'm bang on. I'm bang in the middle, guys. Your testosterone results have been returned as normal. You have received a normal testosterone result. This means that your testosterone levels were within the normal range for an adult male. That's Dr. Dominic there. I am slap bang in the middle. I'm happy about that. Now that's interesting, guys. That's interesting. I'm I'm bang in the middle, which suggests healthy. You know what's interesting? What's actually really interesting? I don't have an excuse as like why I can't put on muscle or um you know things with mood and stuff like that. I there's no excuse. He said especially not in the areas of testosterone if you want to know more about this stuff you know maybe i should do some things i'm trying to improve my sleep i've bought this garmin thing here to track my sleep a bit better because honestly i thought those results were going to be low i was expecting them to be low um because i said you know like those things that guy was was kind of describing how i looked and i've read other things that kind of says you know that whole skinny fat thing is actually just a result of like an ectomorph with poor diet added in so it's more of a behavior that body type of like skinny fat is actually more like a down to your behaviors rather than genetics if your diet and things like an exercise were in check you would just be like a straight ectomorph and i actually feel really motivated by that and kind of i don't know i feel weird about it but that has i feel happy i feel happy about that and i think i'm going to continue to make improvements like with my sleep my diet and my health and we'll come back you know we'll come back to testosterone in let's say another sort of three months and i really hope that i can dedicate myself to making some more you know keep making more positive changes towards my health making sleep a priority okay i have to make sleep a priority we'll see how it affects these testosterone levels but I have no excuses now. I have no excuses. And, and I'm doing various things with, with body weight training. Um, and I'm making results then. I'm actually using the, the recommended routine from Reddit. And I, I've been making progress with it. Really small progress gains, like better form in the beginner shrimp squats and things like that. But it feels good because it's the first time I've been making progress in, in a while. And I guess that's... You know, what do I want the message of this video to be about? I see so much value in looking after your health and in setting goals in the area of improving your health because I think just mentally and physically it goes so far to improving your overall well being, of course. But if you want to see more things like this, more videos on this type of topics guys then um then let me know right hit that like button uh let me know down in the comments i really hope you enjoyed this video no excuses i've got no excuses now my lack of results you know in the gym are not because of low testosterone and that that motivates me to work harder and and keep improving and keep you know sharing 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 the positivity with you guys and and things that that help me you know i hope they can help you and, I, and i'll continue to keep talking about them finding other guys to share their stories and their kind of inspirations with this stuff things that worked for them as well um 
because because why do anything else right why do anything else got any questions or anything like that links to the articles and things that i spoke about in this video will be down in the description box and let's get checked i sent you an email last night you haven't replied to me yet but guys i'm working on a discount for you guys hopefully we'll get that check back a little bit later on this video if you want to see if i've added a little link or make sure you follow me on instagram because all the first look stuff will be on the instagram and i'll continue to try and make some healthy changes and we'll see where we're at in a few months time with our testosterone levels but there you are i'm right bang on normal that makes me happy i hope you enjoyed this video once again i want to thank you for watching it guys and i will most certainly see you in that next video and i just can't go i'm enjoying this so much look out check out the hair guys i still haven't cut my hair i don't know when i'm going to i'm just don't know what i'm doing it or why i'm growing it out but i am it's getting long it's not it's looking kind of different right it's looking different <sighs> But that is what it is, you know, super bold, healthy T levels, gonna smash the gym. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.